Mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Magufuli na familia yake Finance Minister Philip Mpango, who did not reveal what he was suffering from, appeared at the press conference outside a hospital in the capital Dodoma after rumors that he had died of COVID-19. Tanzania has come under fire for downplaying the seriousness of the coronavirus. President John Magufuli has insisted for months that COVID-19 had been fended off by prayer, but last week considered it was still circulating after the vice president of semi-autonomous Zanzibar was revealed to have died of the virus. Mpango, his voice trembling, had a coughing fit at the press conference to announce he was being discharged from hospital after 14 days. The coughing minister, who was not wearing a mask, was flanked by a doctor and a hospital director, both also maskless, while about 10 journalists attended the conference. Behind him stood doctors and nurses who were wearing masks. On social media, people expressed horror at the scene, including opposition leader Tundulisu. Has the intelligence of our people reached this level? Who allowed this patient to cough on people instead of being in hospital for treatment or bed rest, he wrote on Twitter. The head of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, on Sunday appealed to Tanzania to take robust action against COVID-19 after travelers from the country tested positive. Tanzania stopped releasing data on COVID-19 in April 2020. On Sunday, Magufuli revealed that some of his aides and family members had contracted COVID-19 but recovered and offered some lukewarm support for the use of masks. On Monday, the United States issued a do-not-travel warning to Tanzania due to the spread of the virus.